Welcome back to Echo Base Network, guys. I am Nick, and today we're talking a little Phantom Menace news. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but apparently the Phantom Menace was coming back in theaters May the 4th for Star Wars Day. You know, May the 4th be with you. But according to Star Wars Twitter page, it's coming May 3rd. So, a day before may the 4th so not on star wars celebration day day before it uh i'm not sure if they changed this on purpose or if this is like a typo or whatnot uh but apparently it's coming out may 3rd and it, you guys all know the phantom menace is probably my least favorite george lucas films except for the last like 30 minutes uh which i thought was pretty good but i remember when I, the trailer first came out, you know, uh, the Phantom Menace, like, I mean, I, I was getting teary eyed a little bit. Like I could not wait for this film. I'm like, Holy crap. George Lucas is coming back. We're getting another star Wars movie, you know? And, uh, so my expectations were through the roof and, uh, unfortunately it just did not deliver or meet my expectations. Uh, I know there's a lot of people out there, a lot of you guys out there that absolutely love this movie. Uh, and there's aspects of it that I'm fine with, but um, it, it's definitely my least favorite out of the George's uh, Star Wars movies. Uh, but the, the the choreography, the fight scenes, uh, phenomenal. Uh, the Maul, Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon fight that, uh, at the end. Probably my favorite lightsaber fight out of the entire every single star wars movie um uh duel of the fates uh amazing uh piece of music uh, john williams killed it once again um you know so i'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that are that are looking forward to this coming back out in theaters i unfortunately am not one of those people um I'm probably not going to go see this in theaters. I saw it, you know, three or four times when it first came out, stood in line, waited for it. Um, but uh, let me know if you guys are planning on going to see it. I'm sure a lot of you guys are. But also, you know, they tried re-releasing it in 3D when they were going to do all the Star Wars movies in 3D, and it didn't do very well at the box office. Uh, here you see coach, uh, said, uh, uh, I thought May the 4th was the official star Wars day. And the reason for you doing this, but you released this on May 3rd, more Disney confusion. I see. Yeah. And it is confusing because I thought the whole purpose of them dropping this was for a May 4th release for star Wars celebration day. Um, but some of these replies are pretty funny. Uh, fun fact, the Phantom Menace is the most prequel movie display on theaters after launch i need the attack of the clones on revenge of the sith back in theaters uh let's see i'm glad history is becoming kind to the phantom menace it isn't as bad as everyone thought it was at the time i still think it's not very good now this is pod racing uh one of the cringiest lines like george really needed to have somebody redo the dialogue of that entire movie uh, of the whole entire prequel trilogy. The dialogue just was not very good, in my opinion. Uh, the Star Wars movies, from best to worst, uh, from best to worst, Revenge of the Sith, Attack of the Rogue One, Solo, Fort, Last Jedi Rises. What? What? From best to worst, the original trilogy is last on this guy's list? Wow. Fake fan, fake fan. <laughs> uh let's see you forgot one obvious bait uh obvious bait is obvious uh that's bait uh you lost me in attack of the clones top hundred top 100 worst baiters in twitter history i guess uh this is the list of a troll yeah no worst list ever and just tons and tons of people talking about how bad his list is, which it was pretty bad. That list is reversed. Yeah. Why is the last Jedi not number one? <laughs> uh, uh. But anyways, guys, uh, 
some of the comments in there are pretty funny. That guy's list was absolutely insane. Uh, no way my list would be in that order, not even kind of. I would be 10, 9, 8. On some days, I might be 9, 10, 11. Um, then Rogue One. Then Revenge of the Sith. Attack of the Clones. Phantom Menace. <sighs> Do I put Force Awakens above Solo? Oh, man. Such bad movies. God, I would put all these equally last. Solo, Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker. Bottom of the list, they're all in the same category. They all suck. I literally, literally will never, ever in my lifetime watch these movies again. Never. I'll watch Rogue One again. I'll watch these three again. Not as much, but but the original trilogy, man, I, I could literally watch it any day. Uh, none of the the sequel movies or even the prequels or any of these other ones affected my love for the original three films in any way. Uh, when I watch those, I see Luke is Luke was portrayed in those movies, not the uh, teat sucking milk drinking loser. He turned out to be or Han Solo, the deadbeat dad. He turned out to be, uh, I just don't see them. I completely blocked those out of my mind and, uh, look at them as fake films fake uh but anyways guys are you guys gonna be going and seeing the phantom menace back in theaters um what's your thoughts on the date change from the fourth to the third uh let me know in the comment section below as we always say here we are you are echo base network until the next one guys we'll see y'all later